We might end up with a Drez opportunity, but our dishes aren't very good for that right now. We could send a person over to... a Kerbal over to... well, Kerbals are people too. Um, over to Drez. Shall we do that? That will mitigate the need for communication. Looks like the maneuver node will be done first before a Drez encounter. I don't know about fair. I mean, they make you send a Kerbal up before you can even send a probe up, so I mean, what else is new? It is the way of things. I guess until KSP2. KSP2 is supposed to be probe for. Well, maybe. Is it? I don't know if they even said anything about it. Is it gonna be probe first or Kerbal first still? Or maybe they haven't said. You don't know anything? Yeah, I guess so. Oh. I don't know if squad quit. I mean... But, like, again, a squad was originally a advertising company. So, they've sort of gone out of the way for the game for a while now. But really, squad is still an advertising company. So, I don't know if they were really... gonna stick to the game creation business long term. Okay, well, sometime before 120, uh, 102 days, there is gonna be the Dress Encounter, so... Wait, right. I'll just leave it there, we're still facing the sun and everything. I guess there are multiple models of this. There's the model of like civilization where Sid Meier gets uh, mentioned on everything and it's always Sid Meier's civilization or something like that. And then there's the model where, well, you know, um, he said he was done, so he's done and he's not involved and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is behind the scenes on that. Well, all it says is we need to uh, have a... Well, see, the problem is it's an unmanned probe, it says. But a Kerbal. Is, it, is a Kerbal a man? Anyway, what, what about a woman? <laughs> Can we send a woman? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we can't really just send the... Okay, so, let's say... Let's say we have a Kerbal capsule. And then we stick a probe on it. And then we get there and then release the uncrewed probe. Would that work for this? Has anybody tried that sort of deal? So we'd launch it crewed to ensure communications till we get there. Or ensure control, really. But then release the probe? I mean, it just it just says build new un crude probe when does, does it test it on launch or does it just test it once it gets there does anybody know I guess maybe we'll just have to find out unless somebody knows for sure who are we gonna send out to Drez it's like Filney maybe it's either Filney or uh, Hangle 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 with the hanger there. Lots of courage, minimal stupidity. Philney's sort of even up. I'll go with Hangle. Philney's got a little bit more experience. Don't I have comms to Drez? Not at the moment. Uh, no, uh, we tried to send a Drez probe, but it lost comms, and that was our best communication dish. We don't have science to get the next. We had this Drez probe. That's a nice rocket, if I do say so myself. So this doesn't actually have enough range. Well, I guess it might depend on where Drez is, is in its orbit, but... Well, we'd have to send the relay satellite first. I mean, and the relay satellite isn't gonna have any more range than this dish is, because this is our best dish. So... I mean, nearby, where is that? It would have to be in sync with Drez's orbit. You'd have to send more than one relay satellite 
into a solar orbit or whatever, sun-centered orbit, and then park it around Duna level, and then that's a whole other business. I'm, I, 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 I'm asking a very discreet question. If we put a Kerbal with this, can we just pop this off and two of the same antenna? Antennae? Because this is a maybe. I don't know how well they're going to combine to give us extended range. Well, I, I think we ought to try. We'll, we'll have this. But we ought to try having a Kerbal too. On the pad? Well, I'm sure it won't check mark it on the pad. The question is whether it'll end up... It won't get... Yeah, it won't get a check on the pad. The question is whether it'll get a check once we get there. Anyway, even if it doesn't count, this will help as a relay. No, it won't be. We need relay antennae on here. It need com well have comms. Uh, it depends on how much comms, I suppose. Um, why are you trying to make me not send a Kerbal out? <laughs> uh, hold on. I mean, it just says has an antenna. It doesn't say it needs actual communication, you know. I don't know what standard one you mean. These? We, we won't be needing that. Once we have these out, those are redundant. All of these will be redundant as long as we have that one extended. That would not be true in Kerbal's, uh, in uh, Realism Overhaul, but this is not Realism Overhaul. In Realism Overhaul, you need those, because those would be Omni antennas, and these will be directional antennas. And in Remote Tech, that they'll, they'll be doing different things, and you need both. But in here, you don't. Hmm. Okay, pull. Send a Kerbal or don't send a Kerbal. Well, let's make it a pull. So... Kerbal? Question mark. I'll keep full of blader on the heat shield. Drez is reasonably far out. We'll have to have the return fuel with it. Now the Drez probe isn't gonna need that much independent fuel. We can skip this tank. These panels are next to useless. How much power draw are we gonna have? I mean, I guess, let's see. I mean, I'm not really planning on transmitting anything, to be honest. We just need to maintain communication. So it's really just our uh, SAS that will be consuming power. All right, so Drez is 46, Kerbin is 13. That's a factor of 3.5, we square that. So we got 12.5 times less solar input at Drez than on Kerbin. I believe Jules at 25. So, we'll see exactly how much power we get. So, uh, these guys, uh, they get 1.6 per second. So, we're gonna have um, 0.12 per second times 2, because we got two of them. So, basically 0.25 per second. And these little guys are gonna get, you know, less. I don't know if our power draw is gonna be much more than that. If we're like not wiggling about, but you know, maybe just in case we'll grab some extra ones. Obviously, we don't have bigger panels. Bigots don't have huge drag, do they? <laughs> hmm. It's getting all very serious looking. Okay, now this whole thing has to be launched by something. Okay, what about that reusable rocket that we had that uh, launched the refueler? I do, but th th it would be hard to put it on here. You kind of do want to get... Okay, well, there you go. It's fine. Then you have the right strategy. But this is 3.75 meters, though. But then again, once something works... 
Hmm. What is this reusable rocket called? Space tub. I don't know. I would make a thinner rocket to make it look better, but then again, the the stage managed to be recovered, so and it definitely has enough delta v to launch this sucker, so all right. We don't want Valentina to go. We want Hangle to go. Is there anything I am forgetting? Tenseness. Mod propellant. Oh, uh, am I gonna regret keeping that ten units of mod propellant? Why? Why do we not have? Why is there less fuel? Oh, right, because I clipped those in right. So I had to compensate for the fact that those are clipped in. Um, my tendency to fly different rockets every single time makes it hard to do a pinpoint landing. But anybody who uses the same one over and over and over again will be much more likely to just land it on the landing pad or something. Test. Yeah, yeah, no, I had said earlier about uh, it looking like Little Joe, which is what that was. GPS helps. Yeah, I mean, of course, they can do a lot more calculations. But even then, there's a lot that has to be um, sort of configured ahead of time. Like, how long... You know, when you do a uh, you know, boost back burn, for instance, you need to figure out how far you want to overshoot to compensate for atmosphere, right? You don't want the computer necessarily calculating everything on the fly because by the time it hits the atmosphere, it's very hard to adjust. So you want to figure that out ahead of time so it's not trying to adjust for drag after it hit the atmosphere. So you're probably going to tell it to overshoot a bit. And stuff like that. Same as far as one of these rockets are concerned, bring it down from orbit. You need to decide ahead of time what the um, descent trajectory is going to look like. You're not going to have a computer trying to figure that out on the fly while it's passing through the atmosphere, you know. It's not going to be trying to fly. That's different with the space shuttle, of course. But still, I mean, you know, the retro burn is pre-programmed. But the space shuttle can adjust its trajectory a little bit better than something like this. No, they're four skippers. Okay, that'll do. Um, I probably should have. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, fairings off. And separate that off. Little Joe was not an SSTO. It was didn't get to orbit at all. Oh, are you saying this one? This one is. But that's because Kerbin is small. Okay, well, we've got a limited amount of electric charge, so we need to get this part done quickly. The internet and jokes don't mix. We're already pretty darn low. I'll try for 35 kilometers. Still think it's probably gonna end up being way short of the KSC. And once again, I should pre... I really need to fix these in the VAB next time. We really need to not forget the space plane headed over to EVE while we're doing all this stress stuff. At some point, I'm gonna strand some Kerbals in solar orbit or whatever. Kerbal orbit. Because I totally forgot about them. It'll happen. And then somebody's gonna tell me, See, you should have installed the uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock. But it's stock, darn it. When I say stock, I mean stock. Gosh darn it. When we're out of communication, it really should just keep the previous command, which was SAS holding retrograde. I don't like that it doesn't hold the previous command. I mean, what makes it decide not to hold the previous command anyway? It shouldn't. It shouldn't go off. 
SAS is on, why isn't it holding retrograde? There was no command that told it to do that. Oh, we're pretty close to the KSC. We'll see. Just let not be the mountains, please. I think we'll pass over. Are cheats with wings good? Is that better or worse? I don't I can't even tell. Mercy cheats. We're not really slowing down very much yet. And we're passing right by. We're gonna end up in the water again, which I guess is good because we've seen it splash down before. Well, throttle up hardly matters. Actually, I'd rather keep the fuel in because it's down below. And so it'll help our buoyancy because it's low down and uh, it'll keep us steady. Is that our construction sandbox? That's Kerbal. If I'm, if I'm gonna play a construction sandbox game, um, <laughs> right? Kerbal has occupied my entire life for construction sandbox games. There's not gonna be another. With combat, not as big. I don't. If I want combat, I'll just play a combat game. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I've got a few games like that already, too. But I never get to play them. But, you know, I feel guilty about playing something like that and not, it not being Kerbal. Recover quickly. Recover! Oh, it's gonna flop. Oh, I lost the very top of it. Okay, those we'll need those parachutes back. I don't know if we're gonna get those parachutes back. Maybe I should put the parachutes on the tank below that, so that if that and if it ends up tipping over, then we might lose that tank. But at least we'll get the parachutes back. They're very expensive. Uh, well, some of that debris is is those parachutes. Did I fail to recover something else? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I started playing uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, didn't finish. Near Automata, I started, didn't finish. Uh, Dishonored 2, started, didn't finish. Oh, I, yesterday we did Elder Scrolls Online. I wanted to cross the continent in that. Um, Fallout 4, started, didn't finish. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15, started, didn't finish. Technically, Grand Theft Auto 5, the story mode, started, didn't finish. Just horrible. Oh, Mass Effect 3, obviously. Yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda. We, yeah, we basically finish GTA Online. That's true. This is probably not the right timing for Drez. I think we time warped too much. But, I was about to say, if uh, you're uh, looking to get that, you might want to just pick up the EA Origin Premium thing, which is, I think, $15 a month. So if you are confident you can get the story done in a month, then you can play the game, finish it, and it'd be 15 bucks. Just make sure you remember not to, like, keep the account. Unless you want to play one of the other games, of course. I really don't like this trajectory. Because we're going way out, coming back. I'm trying to avoid that, but... I would consider uh, doing Jedi Fallen Order. The problem is actually my bandwidth. I would have to download that huge thing, which is like 50 gigabytes, and, you know, I've got bandwidth caps, so... Okay, well, this transfer makes me somewhat unhappy. We need to see how much it's going to take to capture around it. We're going to spend 1,600 there. That leaves us 1,800 to actually capture around. Res. Uh, oh, he didn't even uh, add in the mid-course adjustment. Shoot. That seems like it's going pretty darn fast since Drez isn't even perturbing it. Ah, that's much better. Ah, that's better. Well, that's 70 kilometers is good. Let's see 
Oh, okay, well, it's very uncertain about things. It seems like it's going to take a good amount to make orbit. Let's just go now. I'll have to take that. That's as good as it's going to get. Down at angle, why couldn't you have a hold to node option? Okay, five, four, three, two, one, burn. I think we're gonna end up concluding on the space planes capture into orbit around Eve. Okay, that was a minimum. And we do not have a encounter, but I want to fix that right away. So, immediate correction burn time. Not that immediate. Atlas, welcome. 30 minutes of play at a time on YouTube. Unfortunately, you're catching me right at the end of this, <laughs> but yeah, well, you can uh, also, it keeps the videos, so that's good. But mind you, all the actual activity is on YouTube. I mean, it's all boring otherwise. <laughs> well, I mean, I've still got 18 minutes left, so basically you're getting a YouTube video. <laughs> As it turns out, you're going to get a YouTube video anyway. We're trying to hit Drez with this mission, but we've got another mission to take care of too at the same time. No, no, we, uh, we unlocked the VAB for more parts. Yeah. We're past that. But we, um... We have not successfully gotten anything to Drez yet, and we haven't even attempted anything to Jewel. We tried one probe to Drez, and that, uh, failed because of communications. This mission has a Kerbal on board, so... And there's Raider Nick telling me that I'm a cheater. Very good. Welcome, Raider Nick. Yes, stock cheats are in effect. Uh, when I say stock, for those who don't know the joke, uh, everything's a cheat to Raider Nick, so... Merely playing the game in order to simulate getting to space counts as a cheat. Using Raider Nick's mods counts as a cheat too, as far as I know. Alright, well let's see, about 84 kilometers, what do I get? 1,300, well we have that. Okay, so we'll do this correction quickly, quickly. We need to go now. Uh, shuttle playthrough? What shuttle playthrough? Um, let me just do test burns. I don't want to plot it again. Nope. Too far. There's so many shuttle playthroughs. When, later Nick? Are you talking about SDS 41B and SDS 51A? I mean, those were just two, right? I mean, those were supposed to be just those two. I mean, I declared SDS 51A to be the greatest shuttle mission, the ultimate shuttle mission. And, uh, well, once you've done the ultimate shuttle mission, I, I don't see what else you have to do. Okay, that's probably close enough. All right. So this is on its way. Now, if you're... <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately nobody... Well, not nobody. Just just the uh, most dedicated people watched it. <laughs> um, I don't have much hope that even lesser known astronauts are gonna get much attention. So we made a space plane. It's an SSTO. We got out to orbit and refueled it, and now it's on its way to EVE. Because... Does this look like Max to you, Raider Nick? Well then, there you are. Anyway, Max isn't an SSTO. Max cheats, it uses uh, AN-225 as the first stage. So that's cheats. Send it to NASA. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's how that works. Oh god, electric ch Oh, shoot. Well, they can control it still, though. Right? 
ish. Why is it turned this way anyway? I'm sure they've seen better Pete Conrad things. They've got real space historians and everything. They've actually, they probably did actually see Pete Conrad. I mean, who am I to talk about him? I never met him. Oh great, now it's gonna rotate so that's edge on, come on. Oh, we can just puff the engines again if I need to. Okay, it's got power now. Infinite cheat wheels. Well, not infinite. We ran out of electric charge. So, I mean, they do require electric charge. Infinite ignitions is helpful, though. But then there are some engines in Realism Overall that have infinite ignitions. Okay, well, now's the question. Should I even bother dipping into the atmosphere of EVE? <laughs> I mean, do we really want to... It's only got to take 300 meters per second to aerobrake. Uh, not to aerobrake, to um, capture into orbit. Do we really want to risk this? With Jeb and Bill on board? Well, it should have been Bob. Bob would really scream for her. Bob was traditionally the one that was least... I mean, was the most squeamish. So I think the atmosphere of Eve starts at 95, right? Let's see. 90. 90 only. I guess we'll try for 80? I, I have a bad feeling about this. I didn't think we'd be going this fast. No, no, it can't. I'm more afraid of it blowing up, though, <laughs> to be honest. Well, don't pre rip this, come on. I'm just worried about the heating on these. After all, it's not a heat shield. If we don't capture, we're gonna have to flip around and try and capture. That's the atmosphere. Oh god! Oh no! No! What have we done? We didn't even capture, did we? We're out in interplan. Well, that's sort of that's sort of okay-ish, because we sure don't want to pass through the atmosphere again. But we're gonna be in solar orbit or cur Kerbal orbit. All right, so yeah. Using a space plane to aero capture around Eve is not a good idea. We have determined this. Luckily, Jeb and Bill are still safe. We're not gonna get our funds back very well for, for this. It was expensive, but you know, the important thing is Jeb and Bill are safe. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be doing ghillie science this time around. Alright, well this being the situation, we're gonna have a rescue to do in Kerbal Orbit, in that Kerbal Orbit in particular. And I don't get to use, um, Transfer Window Planet, well I mean Transfer Window Planet wouldn't be able to do it anyway, but Mech Jeb or anything, I'm gonna have to figure this out, the timing for a transfer to whatever the heck that orbit is. So that should be interesting. Um, 
we are going to not pay attention to them because otherwise they will run out of power because I don't have any solar panels on. Isn't that wonderful, Raider Nick, how that works? <laughs> just, just turn away, don't look. And the soul and the power will be all right. Schrodinger's Kerbals. Well, Schrodinger's electric charge, which is sort of appropriate when you think about it. Okay, let me stop the music. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you around. Uh, definitely next weekend, I'll continue this on Saturday and Sunday, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time. And that's 6 p.m. GMT.